All right, guys, welcome back to 1908. We've got uh, the Tigers of the Nap. It's been a little while since we've seen Ty Cobb and company, and it'll be Germany Schaefer here to lead it off and refresh our memories up against Bob Rhodes. Schaefer rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball to the center field. Birmingham has that for the out, one away. Bill Coughlin now rolls a 62 for a 12. Here's that little E roll. And the roll is a 45 out of the range. That'll be a round ball over to first base. Stovall grabs it, goes to the bag himself. Two away. Matty McIntyre now rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball to second base. Uh, and that's uh, LaJoy who has it, throws to first. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Here's Josh Clark. Clark rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball this time to Schaefer. Goes to first, one away. Bill Bradley rolls a 66 for a zero, and uh, his next roll is a 56 for a six. That'll be a double to right center field. It brings up George Stovall, and the uh, Naps are threatening quite early. Here's Stovall, five RBIs, hitting 231. And uh, he rolls a 26 as I try to see that one. That's a ground ball over to third base. Coughlin goes to first, and Bradley holds. Two on. Here is Napoleon. Rolls a 12 for 24. Pop up over to Schaefer at short. We go to the top of the second. It'll be Ty Cobb. Cobb hitting 273. 312 is all for the on-base percentage and 386 for the slugging. So he's been in a slump. He rolls a 15 for 11. It's a base hit, and that'll be a stolen base for Cobb. That'll bring up Claude Rossman. Cobb, of course, is synonymous with uh, stolen base. Rossman. Rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball, second base, and uh, Napoleon throws to first, and uh, Cobb goes to third, one away. Red Downs now, and he rolls a 55 for an A. That'll be a fly ball right field. Cobb has that, and it's deep enough to score the runner, and it does. one nothing Tigers, and here's um, Schmidt. He rolls a 45 for a 14 until walk, and that'll bring up Sam Crawford. Now runner on a first, two outs, stop to second. Crawford rolls a 45 for a 14. Another base on balls given up by Rhodes, and here comes George Mullen. So the pitcher comes up here for the Tigers. Mullen rolls a 51 for a 9. That's going to be a single for him, and he'll beat out the infield hit, and that brings up Germany Schaefer. Schaefer's hitting 312. He uh, flied out to center field his first time up today. Hitting well, though, and uh, you know how dangerous these Tigers can be. And he rolls a 26 for a 32. Fly ball right field. It's uh, Hinchman who's got that for the out. We go to the bottom of the second. Joe Birmingham will lead this off for Cleveland. He rolls a 65 for a 35. Here's the little E roll, and it's a 64, and that means it's out of the range. It's going to be a little pop-up foul over to Coughlin, the third baseman, one away. Strain this out so you can see the uh, dice roll. Next up, Harry Bemis rolls an 11 for a 0, and uh, the next roll for him is a 41 for an 11. That'll be a single to the left, and then he will steal second. Brings up George Pairing with only one out. Pairing hitting 156, abysmal, but with four RBIs. Rolls a 44 for an A. That's a single over second. That'll score the runner. Pairing uh, ends up at first. It's one to one, just like that. RBI number five, and here's Bill Hinchman. Bill rolls a 44 for an A. Another base hit. Pairing goes to second, and uh, here comes uh, the pitcher, uh, Bob Rhodes. Runners on a first and second. Rhodes hitting 143. Rolls a 14 for a 43. Here comes that little E roll. So 44 out of the range, and that's the fly ball over to left field. McIntyre's got that two away. Here is Josh Clark again. He rolls a 14 for a 43, and uh, the little E roll comes up once more. It's a 55, and that's another fly ball left field. And it's McIntyre who ga- grabs it, of course, and we go to the top of the third. Bill Coughlin comes up there for the uh, Tigers. The roll is a 21 for a 30, fly ball left field. Clark has it, one gone. McIntyre now. He'll roll a 45 for a 14, and uh, he takes his base over at first. That brings up Ty Cobb with one out. One on, one out. Rolls a 36 for a 33. Here is that little E roll. 61 is the roll. It's a pop-up over to the left side. Bradley's got it two away, and here's Claude Rossman. Claude rolls a 61 for a 41, changed to 39. That's going to be a caught stealing as the runner attempts to steal, and we go to the bottom of the third. Boy, that happens a lot in 1908, don't you think? Bill Bradley comes up. We've had a lot of caught stealing here. Bradley rolls a 64 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Cobb has a one away. George Stovall now rolls a 34 for a 44, and uh, here's a little E roll. It's a 64. It's out of the range. Fly ball center field. It will be uh, Crawford grabbing that two away, and here is uh, Napoleon, the man himself. Rolls a 33 for a zero. Second roll is a 62. That'll be a six. Double the right center field for Napoleon. He winds up over on second base. Up is Birmingham with seven RBIs of his own this season, and he rolls a 54 for 45. That won't get it done, son. Next roll is a 12, so there is a little E. That's going to be an error over on uh, the uh, right fielder Cobb, of all people. He drops that one, and that allows Napoleon to score. Two to one now, uh, Naps, and um, here is Harry Bemis uh, with uh, Birmingham over on at first. Rolls a 51 for a nine. It's a ground ball over to Coughlin at third. Throws to first, and we go to the top of the fourth. 
Claude Rossman up there rolls a 13 for 37, changed to 23. That's going to be a uh, little bounce from front of the plate, and Rossman will be safe at first as Bemis makes a throwing error for the uh, Naps. That brings up uh, Red Downs, runner on at first. Rossman, however, is slow. And uh, Downs rolls a 63 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Clark has it. One away. Boss Schmidt now rolls a 43 for a 29. It's a comebacker over to Rhodes. Turns around and throws to Perry, covering a second for one, but they don't get Schmidt going to first. Sam Crawford now. Schmidt a little bit faster at the first base bag. Crawford rolls a 26 for a 27. That's going to be a ground ball to uh, the third baseman. Uh, Bradley flips over to Napoleon at second. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's George Pairing here for the uh, Naps, and he rolls a 66 for a zero. 63 for a six. That'll be a double to right center field, and that'll bring up Bill Hinchman. Hinchman today, one for one with a single. His rolls at 26 for 27. Ground ball over to the left side. Cawthon has it, throws to first. One gone. Pairing stops, uh, stays at second. Bob Rhodes now. He'll roll at 24 for a 13, and he strikes out two away. Josh Clark rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a single to left. That will uh, score the runner, and Clark then gets his uh, stolen base, as is per the 11 rule. Bill Bradley, now it's 3-1 Cleveland. Bradley rolls a 26 for a 30. Fly ball, left field. McIntyre's got it. We go to the top of the fifth. It'll be uh, George Mullen up here for the Tigers. Mullen rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back to Rhodes. Throws the first, one gone. Germany Schaefer now. He rolls a 51 for a 10. That's a single to center. And here comes Bill Coughlin. Schaefer on at first. One out. He's fast. Hit and run. Coughlin over two. Roll is a 24 for a 13. And that's the trick of the hit and run because that's always a strike him out, throw him out. And so that doesn't work. The opportunity is wasted. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Here's George Stovall. George rolls a 26 for 27 ground ball left side. It'll be Coughlin. With that, throws the first one away. Napoleon now. Napoleon rolls a 12 for a 24. Here is the little E roll. Try that again. Can't have one of them land on top of the thing. There we go. Rolls a 25 out of the range. That's a ground ball over to Schaefer. It's short. Throws to first. Two gone. And here is Joe Birmingham. Birmingham rolls a 65 for a 35. And a little E roll comes up. It's a 25 out of the range. That'll be a pop-up foul. Uh, th- first base side. Rossman's got that for the out. And we'll go to the top of the sixth inning. So it's uh, Matty McIntyre here for the Tigers. 0 for 1 today. 286 on the season. Rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. Clark has it for the out. One away. Here comes Cobb again. Cobb is one for two with a stolen base. And his roll is a 14 for a 43. Here's the little E roll. It's a 26. So the dice not in favor of Cobb today as he hits a fly ball over to Clark and left. Two away. Claude Rossman. He'll roll a 46 for a 13 and he'll strike out. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Harry Bemis up there for Cleveland. And Bemis rolls a 25 for a nine. It's a pop up over to the left side. Third baseman Coughlin has that one away. George Pairing up next. Pairing rolls a 22 for a 7, and that's a single to right field, and that'll bring up Bill Hinchman with the runner on at first. One out, runner on at first, and uh, let's see what we can do here. going to probably bunt, I think, even with the 3-1 to lead. Rolls a 44 for an 8, would have been a base hit. Instead, it's a good bunt back to Mullen. Throws over to uh, Downs, uh, covering the second baseman, covering her first, and that brings up Bob Rhodes. So the bunt doesn't do much. Rhodes hitting 125, and uh, the roll is a 36 for a 33. Here's the little E. 31 it is, right out of the range. Pop up to the shortstop. It's uh, Schaefer's got that for the out. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Red Downs with uh, comes up to bat. Three hits for the Tigers. Downs 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly. He drove in the only run. Rolls a 36 for a 33. It's going to be a pop up over to second. Napoleon's got that. One away. Bosch Schmidt rolls a 24 for a 13. He'll strike out. Two away. Three strikeouts now for Bob Rhodes. And here's Sam Crawford. Rhodes has 24 strikeouts this season. Crawford rolls a 45 for a 14. He'll walk, and the little S means that he steals second, and uh, that brings up George Mullen. Two outs. Mullen, one for three. He rolls a 56 for a 34. Little E roll is a 64, and it's uh, going to be a little pop-up second base, and it's uh, going to be uh, Napoleon who grabs that for the out, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Josh Clark will lead this off. Clark rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Cobb's got that. One away. Bill Bradley now. Rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball this time center field. Crawford's got that two gone. And it's George Stovall who rolls a 34 for a 44. Again, center field. Crawford's got that. We'll go to the top of the eighth inning. And here's Germany Schaefer for the Tigers. And they're running out of outs. Six more to go. Schaefer rolls a 45 for a 14. That's a walk. Bring up uh, Bill Coughlin, who's uh, 0 for 3 today. Um, 
he uh, has a, a ground about to first, uh, fly to left, and then the uh, strike him out, throw him out. And we'll try the hit and run one more time. Rolls a 61 for a 32. Fly ball right field, and uh, Henchman's got that. Schaefer returns to first, one gone. Here's Manny McIntyre. Rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a comeback over to Rhodes. Turns around and goes to Perry, covering at second. McIntyre's on at first. Two away, and here's Ty Cobb, who's only one for three today, hitting 275. Kind of the wrath of the fans' ire at the moment. And Cobb rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball to center field. Birmingham has that. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. So uh, not much time left for the Tigers. Here's Napoleon LaJoy, who's uh, one for three. Napoleon rolls 25 for an eight. There's another single off of uh, George Mullen. That'll bring up Joe Birmingham. Runner on at first. Head number nine for Cleveland. Birmingham rolls a 51 for a nine. That'll send uh, Napoleon to second. Runners on at first and second now. And here's Harry Bemis. Bemis uh, going to bunt, of course. Roll is a 63 for a 30. It's a good bunt back to Mullen, who throws over to uh, the uh, uh, second baseman Downs, covering at first. Both runners move up, and there's one away. Here's George Pairing. Infield stays deep. Pairing rolls a 66 for a zero. This will knock the pitcher out. Next roll is a 35 for a six. It's a double to right field, clearing the bases. It makes this a 5-1 to one game. Like I said, that's going to be it for Mullen. Sorry about the dog in the background. That's going to be it for Mullen because um, the Tigers um, are about to run out of uh, time here. Um, it's going to be Suggs. George Suggs will come in as a new pitcher against uh, Bill Hinchman. Runner on his second one away. Roll is a 36 for a 33. Here's a little E-roll, and it's a 21, and that's within the range. So that changes to an 18. Pairing will hold a second as Schaefer is eaten up by that ground ball. It's an error on Schaefer. Hinchman makes it the first. And uh, with one out, here's Bob Rhodes. No need to bunt with a four-run lead. Rhodes rolls a 63 for a 13 and strikes out. So now there's two away, and here's Josh Clark. Clark rolls a 44 for an A. That's going to be a single. That'll score two. And um, that, uh, I'm sorry, that'll score one. Let's see if we can figure out what happened here. Scores one, sends a runner to third, and then Clark is thrown out trying to steal because of the little C. So we go to the top of the ninth inning now, 6-1 to one, uh, Cleveland. And here is Claude Rossman, and time is running out for the Tigers. Rossman up rolls a 53 for a 20, changed to an 18. That'll be in air on uh, pairing, who drops that ball as it's hit to him. Air number two on the naps. Red Downs now with the runner on at first, and he rolls a 32 for a 26. Ground ball over to uh, short second base. LeJoey flips over to pairing, and they get the uh, lead runner, but uh, no chance for the double play. One away. Here's Bosch Schmidt down by five. See if he can hit a five-run home run. Said he rolls a 64 for a 13 and uh, strikes out two away, and it's Sam Crawford. Crawford rolls a 16 for a 26. Uh, ground ball over to second, and it's LaJoey who uh, flips over to pairing, opposite of what we saw before, and there's your ball game. Uh, Cleveland wins this one 6-1. to one. Not much of an offensive display by the Tigers, who uh, only collect three hits in this game. Um, there were uh, five walks so given up by Bob Rhodes, but it didn't amount to much. And so uh, Cleveland goes to 11 and nine, Tigers to 10 and 11. And we'll see if these teams are around at the end of the season. We've got a long way to go, but um, time's running out. Talk to you later. Bye.